Welcome back. Today we are going to set up a hard drive for a Nintendo Wii for both GameCube and Wii games. Now I did a video years and years ago on dual partitioning your hard drive, which we really no longer have to do with the advancements made in USB Loader GX, Wii Flow, just every uh, utility that the Wii utilizes to play these backup games. Um, something newer that's came out since my last video would be the GameCube Backup Manager. It's a lot easier, it's a lot more uh, user-friendly, um, Just it's just better overall. So the hard drive I'm going to be using today, little 20 gig hard drive, um, generally I do two terabyte drives for these Wii's. Um, I actually have one in my cloner right now, I basically have a master drive that I have built and I just drop it in my one-to-one -one cloner and let it do all the work. Um, but to show basically the simplicity of it these days um, with how popular Nintendo Wii's have gotten for you know emulation for Nintendo games um, but not only that GameCube GameCube price uh, the prices for those games have skyrocketed since COVID hit um, they were already expensive before now they're even worse so this is for the people that want to be able to play these games without having to pay the price um, they're technically considered, for the most part, a lot of these games are abandoned wear. They're no longer being maintained, developed. Um, you know, certain games that are on the Switch for, you know, you can download, those fall under that exception. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is plug in your hard drive. Um, you know, anything up to 2 terabyte I know for sure works. Um, I think you can go larger than that, but 2 terabyte is all you, that I really need for the Wii games that I have and the GameCube games that I have. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, you need to figure out what drive you're going to be using, what drive letter. So here's our Wii hard drive. Uh, this one is currently set to NTFS, so we're going to change that real quick with a fancy little program called FAT32 Format. Come on down to G. Allocation size 32768. That's going to be your 32 kilobyte cluster size that you are going to need. So make sure that option is selected. A lot of the reason I'm doing a 20 gig is because of the formatting and just everything, it just makes it quicker for the video. So now that that is done, um, let's start off with GameCube Backup Manager. Go ahead, open that program. First thing you're going to want to do is select your directory your GameCube games are stored on. So come down to more directories, computer, I think they're stored on my 6 terabyte. Yep, there they are. And we're just going to install one game. So select that. Install game scrub or one to one. I do one to one. We'll install it. Oops, please select a target drive. That's my bad. No games folder, it'll create it. Getting a little, uh, little ahead of myself here. All right, so that's going to go ahead and install. Um, you can still do the dual partitioning of your hard drive, but honestly, just do FAT32. It is so much easier these days, the way that We Backup Manager installs your games on FAT32 if you have something bigger. Um, then the allotted size, which is like four gigabytes for FAT32, it'll split it. So you'll have a WBFS file and you'll have a WBF1 file. And it reads it perfect. There's no, you know, um, no glitches, I guess you would say, in that. So it, it just, you know, FAT32, just do it. Don't dual partition anymore. It's not necessary. So this one's at um, well, 70% so far. And I'll have these linked. I'll give you links directly to the download sites for these. I probably won't host GameCube Backup Manager. Um, I've hosted in the past certain files because um, I didn't think they were in, you know, in development any longer. But this one is still actively uh, being updated. All right, so that one has completed. So now we can come on over. So if you don't want to use Wii Backup Manager, if you have just a you know a ton of games, you can always go through and rename them manually. I don't know why with GameCube Manager. Back when the DSMS uh, toolbox was being used, it was a lot easier to just go through and rename them all versus installing one game at a time. 
then if you're trying to install the entire library, it is very, very, very time consuming. But Wii Backup Manager or GameCube Backup Manager definitely makes it uh, a lot easier these days. So we can close that. Let's go over to Wii Backup Manager now. Let that open on up. So first thing you want to do, drive one, select it. There is no WBFS folder. Go ahead and create that. So now that drive one selected, let's go find a file. We'll just come on over here. So I already have some in the folder format. We'll just go with Arcade Zone. It's a small, small game. Won't take very long. So now select that. Once we have our drive selected, hit transfer, drive one. feels weird redoing this video. I never thought that I'd do another uh, installing games video, but with the developments made over the years, I figured I might as well because it's a lot easier. It's just, it's so much easier now than it used to be. And again, with the popularity of Wii and GameCube, especially GameCube, um, I figured I might as well. does take a little bit longer here at the end once it's finalizing everything. So on your Wii, you're going to want to make sure you have Nintendo installed. Let's actually go look at that real quick. See if my capture program's loaded up on the Wii. It is. So let's just take a look at that real quick. Where'd my remote go? There it is. So with Nintendo, just drop it in your... Come on. Register. Just drop it in your apps folder, and it should show up under um, the Homebrew channel right there. <laughs> now, depending on what you do, so I use 3.5-inch, 2-terabyte hard drives. Some of the enclosures you may run into, um, they might not work. I did have that issue, and I tried troubleshooting. I tried doing all kinds of things, but anytime that the hard drive would uh, boot up in USB loader, GX, or even Wii Flow, it would spin down. And I went through and I tried grounding out pins, telling it to not spin down, and it just wouldn't do it. I think it came down to the logic board that was on the uh, enclosure motherboard itself. So just pay attention to that. I can drop a link for the ones that I've ordered. I think they're like 15, 20 bucks a pop. Very cheap. Um, they're aluminum framed and they work well, very, very well. Let's see if, oh, that is done. So we can verify that again by just coming over to computer. So there is our GameCube game. We have the disk info. Keep that file there, arcade zone. Now it is recommended to use Wii Backup Manager to install all your Wii games um, because with the Wii games it's a little finicky so arcade zone and then it wants to have your title id in brackets along with the wbfs file title id right here so now that that's done pull this back up disconnect our hard drive and so make sure that you are plugging your hard drive into the very bottom port which would be port zero of your wii I know that you can switch back and forth, but port zero has always been the best, um, and it will continue to be the best because it's the first port. So just make sure you're plugging it in there. All right, we'll let that spin up, do its thing. And it is spun up now. So let's head over to USB Loader GX. Now, if you're getting stuck on the initialized USB, um, it could be a file error. Um, but normally, it is the enclosure you're using. So we'll go over here because this does show our game icons. I haven't downloaded covers yet. There's our GameCube game. Go ahead 
ahead and start that real quick. And there's Nintendo doing its thing. There we go. <laughs> so now we'll go ahead and reset. Sometimes you reset while in the middle of the game. It won't load back up right away, so I just turn it off back on real quick. Go back into USB Loader GX. And now show that we can launch the Wii game from the same FAT32 hard drive. <laughs> it's just a lot easier. It's just it's so much more simple. So I would not recommend dual partitioning anymore. Um, definitely just stick with the FAT32. Um, 32K allocation size. Um, FAT32 format for the larger drives is going to be your go-to. Um, if it doesn't recognize it, it won't let you format it there. Download Ease Us Partition Manager. Um, You'll get the you know, the same thing in a slightly bigger program, but I mean, that's really it. So I will link everything uh, down below. Um, I do have some stuff for the Wii on my free Wix website. Um, take a look at that if you'd like. Um, since I'm no longer allowed to post, not really allowed, I I guess, but I can't post my media fire links and whatnot. Even certain GitHub pages I can't post to YouTube anymore because their AI is starting to flag everything. Um, so take a look at that. Take a look at the rest of my videos. i got a lot of content out there for the Wii. Um, it's one of my favorite systems to mod, aside from the original Xbox. Um, other than that, though, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, drop a comment. Thanks for watching.